Third party AirPods Max solutions have started to be released in order to address the case criticisms, the the famous meme worthy uh, purse case, handle case, non protective case thing that Apple shipped with the uh, most expensive headphone product that's ever made, the AirPods Max. Many roasted. I don't know if anyone really truly appreciated it. I think everyone roasted to a certain degree. I was late to the party getting my hands on a product, so I felt like a lot of the roasting had been done. I didn't feel the need to to, to re-roast. It already, I looked at the coffee bean and it was already well roasted. But anyway, nonetheless, uh, people obviously not huge fans of Apple's case and also not huge fans of the fact that the case kind of an integral part of the usage of the headphone considering the magnets inside of the case put the headphone into that low power state, which is what you would want so mm-hmm. that you can preserve battery life. So it, that just kicks the third party accessory companies into gear. And there ain't nothing wrong with that. A few people go make a few bucks now. Yeah, why not? And one of those companies is a company that's actually been making cases for Apple products for a really long time. They are called Waterfield. And they came out with a fully protective case. And you can see the nice soft material on the inside. And then most importantly, the two leather pads in the center with the magnets installed, which will immediately put the headphones into a low power mode. Hmm. This case also features a section for storage of an audio cable if you choose to purchase the extra audio cable, a power brick, or a lightning cable to charge them up. So there's a little extra space in there too for practicality. And so I think, I mean, I a lot of people at first glance would say, I'm not going to buy a $100 iPhone case. Or not iPhone, a headphone case. Mm-hmm. A lot of people. But the people in the market for this case, they just spent... 550 on the headphones Mm -hmm. so it's it's kind of not that much of a stretch it's still very expensive it's it's a hundred dollar case but it does a lot more obviously than the case that apple gave you for free it has a kind of like leather look to it there's a zipper on the outside i don't know if it's going to be to everybody's style it kind of looks like a. why is it like this this style that's that's what they do that waterfield company that's their thing man oh i see it's like distressed yeah well, they could have made it look like a uh, more typical fashion of uh, the AirPods Max. <laughs> it looks the exact opposite, but good good on them. You want building. it to look more modern. In a way, Are you yeah. roasting the case that was designed in order to <laughs> roast because people roasted the other case? Now you're roasting no, that no, no, case. No, no, yeah, it's my mistake. Sound looks, like a re-roast. Sound it's like a amazing. re-roast to me. Yeah. Um, Good on them for no, building. I hear you. I hear you. It doesn't look modern. It looks distressed. It is kind of a funny choice. It could have just been black, or it, it, it could even if it was brown, it could have been smooth, like a smooth finish yeah. instead of this distressed leather look and the two tone look. But anyway, I think really the selling the selling factor is the functionality. Yes, like because you very just functional. The, the Apple utility. the product that Apple shipped doesn't do the thing. Mm-hmm. Now the other accessory that emerged was this little headphone stand that actually somebody made on Etsy. They 3D printed it. That's kind of a nice little Cinderella story right there. It's called the Air Hanger. It also has strategically placed magnets. You have this little hanger, which I guess you kind of stick to the wall nearby your desk, wherever you use the headphones. You just hang the headphones on here and they will immediately go into that low power mode. So that's kind of a nice little DIY. Now you know companies like 12 South will probably turn it into a commercial product, but still for now, it is on Etsy. It's called the Air Hanger and it's more affordable, although I think it's still 35 bucks. It is still 35 bucks. So look, it's a premium set of headphones. Obviously the accessories are gonna be, need to have a premium price as well because they can't sell in massive volumes and they're targeted an audience that already spent an exorbitant amount of money on headphones. So it kind of makes sense, but. Some still very upset that Apple didn't solve this thing themselves and just put out a case kind of like the Waterfield case, but obviously with a different design. Mm -hmm. Uh, I, however, have gotten a kick out of the funny memes and uh, all the rest. I don't don't really care that much. I I just, I just, the purse thing, I I realize that it's, it's kind of annoying and I would never walk around like that. 
with the headphones like that. But I just, I don't know why I'm not that angry about it. Yeah. At the end of the day, it's just a case. And it's functional. It works. I don't know. It just looks kind of funny. I don't know. It definitely looks funny. It's, I don't know why. I'm just not that mad about it. Yeah. I can't tell you why. I just, I'm just not that mad about it. The headphones themselves, for me, are more of a conversation piece than getting too obsessed over the case. Uh -huh. And the headphones themselves, I still feel, are kind of a tough justification, given the price point. But everyone already knows that. Like, you're really going to have to have some disposable income to make these things worthwhile. You have to have some money sitting around mm -hmm. to spend that kind of money on headphones. But I've been spending money on st stupid stuff for a long time. Yeah. You know, you get too carried away in any particular segment and you start to ratchet things up and then you're adding to cart and what are you doing? Yeah. Getting carried away anyway. Well, at least it's available. Enthusiasm it's costs money. Yeah. But it's good that they designed it. It's out there. And... uh at least being the consumer, you can choose to have it or not. At least it's out there. That's all I have to say. Willie do. Yeah. At least it's out there. Yeah. Willie do's tagline. <laughs> at least it's That's out my there. my slogan. Oh, yeah. By the way, for those that were criti uh, criticizing the price of the case, look at how many different production dates sold out. Yeah. Shipping December 31st, sold out. Shipping January 8th, sold out, sold out, sold out. Yeah. I think there's a market. And you know what? There are people who will buy anything that Apple makes and they will buy the accessory that they need in order to support that product. And some people get mad about it in the comments and they're like, you know, they use terms like sheep and this and that. It's like, hey man, they're enthusiastic. They like it, they enjoy it. It's like if, I don't know, you had a, you have a favorite anything and you buy everything from it, it gets crazy. You know, you could collect those little figurines. You could collect model cars. You could yeah. collect Hot Wheels or baseball cards until one person it's, has no value to someone else has tremendous value. Yeah, it's just too hard, that. man. Yeah. Do you collect anything? What was the thing you said earlier? What? It's out there. Hey, it's out there. <laughs> At least it's out At there. At least it's out there. <laughs> We're going to stick with that. Coined that term.